Remember that Meryl Streep Goldie Hall movie, Death Becomes Her? God, this is so annoying. Uh, I got some cotton here, or whatever it is. Anyway, they, uh, when she's taken the serum, Isabella Rossellini says, now a warning, and Meryl Streep says, now a warning? Today's episode, how do you do in Tawaba? So Waba, welcome to Stories of My Life. So it's Monday, I'm off to the dentist to extract a wisdom tooth. And when I say that to people, when I tell them, they sort of go, oh, so I think this will be, this will be a bloody affair. Let's go. So people, here we go. Folktandvården. That means folk means people, town means tooth, and board means taken care of, I guess. Oh. Let me in, please. So here we go, people. Say, it's sort of, oh no, no, they're rebuilding the elevator or something. Say goodbye to one of those teeth. I'm stacking both of them, but not both of them today. Just one today, I hope. People, this is me afterwards. I've got some. Oh God, I need to go to the drugstore and get some painkillers and some thing to wash my mouth with. And it wasn't, it was kind of boring. It, it, nothing hurt and it wasn't unpleasant. So, uh, but I'll go home and have an easy day. They say I might swallow up and um, yeah, I got a lot of information. You know, We'll try to sort of get it. Get the painkillers. What else? Oh God, I forgot everything they said. This is kind of cute, this, this lisp, isn't it? Remember that Meryl Streep Goldie Hall movie, Death Becomes Her? God, this is so annoying. Uh, I got some cotton here or whatever it is. Anyway, they, uh, when she's taken the serum, Isabella Rossellini says, now a warning, and Meryl Streep says, now a warning? And uh, so I say the same, because afterwards they say, well, are you going home? Yes. Oh, good. And I thought, I, what, what, what if I was going to work? And she said, keep something cold for 15 minutes and then something and 15 minutes not and 15, so the swelling will go down. God, sweating. Uh, you might get fever. For three days, you have to eat these sort of anti-inflammatory capsules. You have to rinse your mouth for 14 days with this antibacterial stuff. And what else? You might get fever and you might get swollen. Yeah, that, I think that's it. So <laughs> they said nothing about this before. Not that I would sort of change anything, but it would have been nice to sort of, what if I planned something? Going to partay? Being a photo model or something like that? I think I'm going to continue left being. Now I need to go <laughs> find something cold to put here because I, I can't look swollen being a famous photo model. So today will be kind of boring for you, not, well, for this thing here. Mostly me with frozen goods tied to my face. <laughs> ah, this is frozen minced, vegan minced meat. How do I do this? I can't even feel it, so hopefully it works. Oh, now I feel it. Well, on my throat. So here's an update. My lisp is gone, sadly. Uh, I don't feel any pain. I've taken painkillers, so and that might be the reason. I also, I felt pain when I removed that bloody gorse they put in that. They told me to keep it in for a couple of hours, and then I took it out. I had a pint of ice cream. That was fantastic. Now I'm going to eat this sort of mess, which is just vegan um, meat. Well, the thing I had on my face, 
minced meat, vegan minced meat, and canned tomatoes, crushed canned tomatoes, and some green peas. I'm terribly hungry. I am... Um, I'm just lying on the sofa watching things on YouTube. So, I'm feeling fine. Might be the painkillers talking. I'm feeling fine. I'm a bit tired. I'm now FaceTiming with Magnus, who's... You're looking really good in that beard. Oh, thank you. So, tomorrow we're going to go to Sprit Museet and look at an art exhibition of Pierre and Gilles and about gin. Hopefully, if I'm feeling fantastic. And so far, I'm feeling fantastic. Magnus is celebrating March Teeny on his own because I'm on painkillers. And he showed me this fantastic. And I said, Blue Shark. But it's not. What is it? Blue Arrow. Oh. What's in it? Mm. Oh, they are strong, these martinis. Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, gin. Yeah. Two parts gin, and then you have one part triple sec uh, control. Yeah. One part uh, blue curacao. Oh. And uh, one part uh, lime juice. Oh, so oranges and lime, sort of, right? That's the flavor, yeah. Yeah? Oh, sounds really good. Yeah. Damn it, me and my operation. Yeah. It's, a, it's time to say goodbye to Magnus. I'll be meeting him at 11 o'clock tomorrow because we are going to go to the liquor museum. Watch uh, two exhibitions, one Pierre and Gilles and one about gin. Do you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. No, goodbye people. Say something nice to the people who's watching. Something nice to the people. Goodbye. I will be listening to great music, but I can't really play it for you because Instagram will go bonkers. Let's start with Dame Joan Collins. Where would she be if she was on a... So, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the old man and the sea, sitting here, watching people going by. Today's episode, how do you do winter, Mama? In to Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.